This segment of Your Hometown is proudly sponsored by the Fox 23 Heroes Wall. To describe the Freeport flag, ladies, I would say, first and foremost, is unconditional love. The ladies are breathtaking. They reflect what an American citizen should be. They really symbolize the spirit of America. They're patriots, true patriots. They have a big heart for the community and a big heart for the people of service uh, that a lot of times don't get a lot of recognition. And to somebody who has never met the Freeport flag ladies before, how would you describe them? <laughs> Pack full of energy and they love this country. You'll never replace them. They give of themselves, which there's no greater gift than that. Um, every, every minute of every day, every action they take for anything is so people don't forget. It's not for themselves. They're the most selfless people you could ever meet in your entire life. And there's just, I mean, look at this woman. Look at them all. This is their life. This is who they are. And it's genuine, and it's, it's beautiful. And we do what we do and they do what they do. Without them, we don't get the support that we need, and their support is, is dear to us in our heart because what we fight for every day is that flag. It's easier to describe the Freeport Flag Lady's generosity than to honor them for it. This group of three ladies, Carmen, Elaine, and Joanne, have done their part to show that they will never forget the tragedies which occurred on September 11, 2001. Even in the snow and rain, the Freeport Flag Ladies are on the hill on the corner of School and Main Streets in Freeport every Tuesday, no exceptions. They have made a full-time, non-political mission to help support our nation's military and are often among the first to advocate on their behalf. They are most recognized for their presence in downtown Freeport, seen every Tuesday morning waving their flags and waving to passers-by. However, getting them to speak about themselves proved difficult, as they were still trying to honor others, introducing me to the many people who share their mission. Promise me you'll be the next one, how's that? I promise. All right. <laughs> and I never break a promise. All right. Among those gathered this September 11th were members of the Patriot Guard Riders and the Warrior Legacy Foundation. While we've gone on with our lives, it's easy to forget what's still going on overseas. And they're fighting every day for the freedoms that we all enjoy. And the very least we can do <laughs> is support them and let them know that we're still thinking about them and we support them 110%. And um, our program specifically addresses the unique needs that the wounded have when they return home from battle. Anytime a military member signs their name on that line, they sign to do what our government sends them to do. They can't say no when it's cold. They can't say no when it's hot and they have a migraine headache. But they get out there and fight for us daily. So please stand up for your military and the folks that are out there every day and thank them when you have a chance. Much like the military members they support, the Freeport Flag Ladies continue their work through holidays and without break. Since September 11th, the women have not taken a single vacation for themselves, opting to put every penny toward helping their heroes. I can't imagine a vacation that could bring more satisfaction than this hour is prop. Uh, that brings more satisfaction than getting thank you notes from soldiers who said, oh, I love the toys you sent. <laughs> we had a great time. What better way could you spend your money? <laughs> Aside from a handful of donations, all of the work done by the Freeport Flag Ladies has been out of pocket or fundraised by them. Their good works are too many to number, but include countless care packages sent overseas and being present at the airport when troops are deployed or are returning from war. And while they are not expecting any recognition, they say the cards, letters, emails, waves, and honks that they receive inspire them to keep going. The soldiers need to know that regardless of what people feel about the war, that they're loved, they're supported, that people care. So when they get to see things like this, they're moved by it. They uh, were always very thankful we were there. They couldn't believe sometimes that in the middle of the night that anybody would be there to support them. And they were glad that we did it because they knew their families would appreciate the fact that we had taken the pictures and we were going to let them see them on the website. And sometimes it is the last picture they've ever seen of their sons and daughters. Before heading out on the hill each Tuesday, friends of the Freeport Flag Ladies receive an email from Elaine with a reflective poem that she wrote. Their website is a virtual scrapbook of their adventures documenting many of their good works for the families of the troops that they've touched. It's all worth it, you know, and we ought to continue doing it as long as we can, and we shall do that. You know, we committed for a year, but there's no way we can stop. <laughs> you know, anybody can do what's easy, but if you're committed, you don't look at it as being difficult. You look at it, I'm committed to this. Our soldiers don't get to fight just in good weather. Our soldiers don't defend our country only when the weather is, is nice and the sun is shining. Nor do we continue our mission just in the world. For more information on the Freeport Flag Ladies, log on to their website. It's freeportflagladies.com or there's a link on myfoxmain.com.